Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn that how we can call API in React JS. So as you know, this is our first video on API in this particular series. So I will also tell you what is API in brief. If you just want to know uh, if, what is API in detail, then link is the is given in the description box for another video. You can check out that video also, right? So let's check out the points of this video. Then uh, we will just discuss that what is get methods and all, right? So we will learn what is API. Then we will call this API and uh, store this API's data inside our state. And uh, then we will make a list uh, from this API's data, right? And this is my Instagram account. If you just want to join me here. So first question is what is API? So as you know, we cannot directly connect react.js to the database right so we need any server side language and that language basically connect with the database and provide the data in the json format and this json format we call it api you can say it application programming interface right keep in mind angular react.js view or any front end library cannot connect with the database directly they can only connect through apis and these api we make in a python language or php in node.js or in java.net kind of things right so now i mentioned that we will use a get method here right so why i put here get method because uh, for getting the data from database we have different different methods like get method is basically used for grab the data from apis like you can see that in this api we have uh, five users data so that we need to get this data right so that we will use get api when we want to store this data then we will use uh, uh, post api when we want to update the data then we will use put api and uh, then if we want to delete the data then we will use delete method right you can say that delete api or delete method this is the same thing for a developer so uh, now let's see that how we can just get this data inside uh, react.js and convert it in the a uh, list so this is my output screen and this is my app.js component right so we need two things for uh, this whole scenario one is uh, we need a use effect and second one we need use state right so in this state we will grab the data and inside use effect method we will call api right so just uh, use here use effect and uh, just as you know in this use effect method we need a arrow function or, or callback function so just use here fetch method basically fetch is a method but javascript call it uh, api if you just want to check here inside uh, google what is fetch then uh, you probably find that this is the method this is the method to take one mandatory argument but here you can see that fetch api also right so now we need to pass here url for the api that we want to call like uh, this is the api url right so just paste it here like this and then we need to use here then because it will return a promise right so we must have to use here then so just uh, use here any parameter like uh, result right and uh, then again this uh, result uh, is actually in a, a stream format so we have to convert it in the json so again it will return uh, a promise so again use then here right and now in this parameter we will basically get our actual result so just put here response and this is this result is actually in a json format you can put here this resp we don't need to put here complete word response and just make it console dot one and now you can see that we got a resp here and uh, here you can see that we got here complete data right for five users so now I just want to grab this data inside state so let's define a state just use const 
users set users and uh, then just put here use state by default data can be let's say blank array and now if you want to check we got the data inside or not inside this uh, user state or not so just print here this but we must have to update it here so just mention here set user and just put here rest and just make it comment here right and uh, let's refresh it once and you will find that okay just uh, okay uh, here you can see that this actually just going through the infinite loop the reason is because this callback function is calling again and again so let's uh, put simply blank array so that it will just call only first time right and uh, now you will see that this is working fine first time we have a blank data because uh, this api just take little bit time to call and after that we got the data inside it right great so now let's plot this data inside a table so what we need here we need a table and let's say we are putting here one pixel border here right and uh, after that let's take a tr and inside tr let's take a td and uh, let's put here id and then uh, three more tds like uh, name email address and uh, at the last we can put here uh, mobile right and let's uh, take these all these things inside the loop also and for that we need a jsx so just use here users dot map like this and just simply put here any item and here what we can mention here let's mention item dot id item dot name and uh, item dot email don't be confused at how I am just putting these names, how I know that I have to put here dot name and all. I will tell you, just give me a moment. Item dot uh, mobile, right? And I think I must have to use here user ID because in my API, here you can see that I have a name, user ID, mobile and all, right? So just get this user ID from here and paste like this here, right? and now what we are getting here we are getting blank data okay uh, just give me a moment let me check what's wrong with it okay because we don't need to use here uh, this curly braces here because we already use this curly braces outside right so here you can see that we got a complete table data here if you just want to remove these tr tables and key then um, you can simply use here a table body also so just cut for it moment for a moment use t body and mention this and again just put here a key and inside key you can uh, just simply mention here uh, i right second parameter will be an index of it and now all errors are just going through from here and now this is working fine so this is a simple example that how we can just get the data from uh, api in the next videos we will learn that how we can use post method put method delete method search api everything that you need to know right and after these things we will also make a single pro simple project without redux and then we will make a project on redux also and uh, that's all and for interview question uh in last video we basically created a dynamic routing so what do you need to do here just uh, let me know that how you can use a uh, links here with the name so that in a next page when you just open here it will just you can just get the name and id and all right and uh, uh one more thing it should be like dynamic like our previous video so that uh, for example let's say we have only five users then we have 10 users and 20 users then how you can just grab them right 
and how you can make simple APIs uh, actually because these API are made with the uh, JSON server so again a one more video link given in the description box with that video you can just get to learn that how you can create a simple and fake APIs right so bye bye for a moment God bless you and please subscribe my channel